Hey, welcome back to Hemlock Ridge. Glad you could make it. Uh, hey, if you caught our last episode, we stumbled upon something pretty unique on a hike. There was a deer freshly killed, wasn't even frozen yet despite the really cold temperatures, and it was totally ripped apart and devoured uh, right in a place in the woods where the deer tend to bed down at night. So as I've done some research, I found that it's likely a coyote that got this deer because the coyote will chase deer when the snow is deep and they'll wear the deer out while the deer are getting uh, fatigued in the snow and the coyote's running on top of the snow. And on top of that, to support our theory, we found a lot of coyote tracks, also some scat that appears to be from a coyote full of deer fur. So what I was able to do is I did set up the game cam, pointed it at the kill site, and I've just had time to come back and actually see what we got on the game cam. So check this out. This has definitely been a very popular area, as you might imagine. You can see the raccoon in the center of the screen. And then look at that. A fox comes in and these guys start to square off over the kill. Now here's our first coyote. Take a good close look at this coyote because we're going to see a few. And I think this one is skinnier than the other coyotes we see. So this may indicate there's multiple coyotes. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Now this is uh, pretty neat. If you look closely, that is a red-tailed hawk who stopped in for a little bit of scavenging. And here's a coyote. Now again, remember what that first coyote looked like? To me, this coyote looks a little bit more well-fed, a little bit stockier, so I'm thinking this is a different coyote. Uh, the other thing that you're going to notice is this is a blonde coyote. I'm told that's a pretty uh, rare color. Usually coyotes are gray, kind of brown, but this color is almost like a yellow lab or a golden retriever. So this guy, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, is definitely enjoying some scavenging, getting what's left off the bones. And that is one healthy coyote. I mean, that is pretty big. Um, in this part of the country, we are in the eastern slash midwestern area um, they have caught coyotes they've done dna tests and they've determined that they include wolf dna and you can see that's much bigger than a coyote you're going to see on the west coast the dna that they found is actually uh, related to the algonquin wolf and it's evident because that coyote is definitely much larger much bigger like the size of a wolf than a really skinny coyote that you might see running around in, in California, uh, New Mexico, or an area like that. Definitely a strong animal, as you can see it pulling the carcass around there. If you know a lot about coyotes, feel free to leave some comments in the comments section. Would love to hear uh, your take on this animal, if you think there's multiple animals and any other insights you can share.
So this is the first time we've seen actual coyotes on the game cam in the property. And obviously they're in the area. So we're gonna keep an eye out for them in the future. Thanks again for joining us here on Hemlock Ridge. Hope to see you back here soon.